Hello, hello, and welcome back. Shalom Kaysen here, and I just wanted to do a quick video about the testimony of Bishop Monir Kairala. And this is an article from PillarCatholic.com, a great Catholic news organization. And um, they always put out wonderful articles with original reporting and all kinds of information but this article really stood out to me so i just had to make a quick video about it all right let's read actually let's start as always with the sign of the cross in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen now let's begin bishop munir kairala of the maronite catholic eparchy of batroon gave an impassioned testimony in defense of peace in the middle east and all over the world he said that the war in Lebanon has been imposed upon us. I come here to speak about forgiveness and reconciliation. While my country and my people suffer and experience the consequences of wars, conflicts, violence, vengeance, and hatred, he said. Bishop Kairala's parents were murdered when he was just five years old in their own home. He had an aunt who was a nun who took his three siblings and himself to her monastery. In the church, she invited us to kneel and pray, to pray to God for mercy, for love. She told us, let us not pray so much for your parents. They are martyrs before God. Let us instead pray for those who killed them and seek to forgive throughout your lives. Then Kairala decided to be ordained on the day of his parents' murder, the eve of the feast of the ex exaltation of the Holy Cross. Just a few months after his ordination, he preached about the sacrament of reconciliation in a retreat of young people. I felt that they did not understand me. They were all armed to wage war against our enemies. After four hours of speaking, I felt that the message was not getting through. Then I said, I shall give you my personal testimony. And I told those young Lebanese what I had experienced it, and that I renewed with forgiveness and reconciliation, he said. After a period of silence, a young man stood up and dared to ask me, Father, I suppose you have forgiven, but imagine that now you are a priest in confession, and this man comes to you, stands before you, confesses, and asks you for forgiveness. What would you do? If they come and stand here in front of me, I am also human. I have my feelings. But finally, yes, I would give them absolution and forgiveness. He added, and once again, this is a great article. This particular article is called Five Moments in the Senate's First Week. It was published on October 7th by Edgar Beltran. And uh, it's from The Pillar, uh, a wonderful Catholic website. Go to PillarCatholic.com to check them out. And this, this particular story about this bishop from uh, Lebanon really moved me and i felt like that you know it should be shared more widely and i hope that people can learn something about forgiveness the love of christ and some of the difficulties that catholics in all different parts of the world are having especially in parts of the world that are experiencing war violence terrorism and things like that and we should pray for everyone especially all around the world but Actually, what Bishop Kairala is asking us for is to pray for our enemies. And that is what Jesus asks us to do as well. So pray for Christians everywhere, but especially pray for the enemies of Christian Christians that they can be converted and moved by the love of Christ to change their ways. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time. May God bless you forever and ever. Bye now.